الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعجل فرجهم A new maxim today قاعدة قاعدة عدم سماع الإنكار بعد الإقرار عدم not سماع listening to denial after confession or denial in another word denial does not override confession in the court system we know that in the court system one of the ways of proving that someone is guilty and implicate him is either witnesses or confession. The person, the perpetrator, he would confess that I did this. I was reading a story in the New York Times today in the airplane. It says that uh, a husband and wife would be two fiancés. They, they traveled somewhere in the boat in the Hudson River, going to a castle, something like that. On the way back, the husband drowned. So when they investigated this, first they thought it's an incident. But then she confessed in the court or to the investigators that she she wanted to get rid of him assalamu alaikum rahmatullah so she confessed she confessed in the court now when someone confesses iqrar iqrar al iqrar and that person is with his rational capacity sometimes he's cuckoo every time he says something he's disturbed he's mentally ill he's not a stable in this case this is not a proper confession but if the confession is there is no duress there is no pressure on him no mental illness no psychological you know misbehaving then this is considered iqrar, and this is one of the ways to indict him. Now, if after one hour he said, hey, judge, your honor, I was wrong. I take it back. Do we accept it from him or not? We don't accept. The denial is not listened to. Why? Because the denial cannot override the proper confession. Not con confession under shikan jaha, under torture, no. If anyone says anything under torture, it's not considered an official or legitimate statement. Because it happens sometimes. They torture someone and he says, yeah, yeah, I, I killed, I did, I, I you know to save his life. That is not accepted. That is not a proper confession. That, that is illegitimate confession. But if the confession was legitimate, then the denial cannot override it in the court system. We have only one exception to this maxim, only one exception. And I would tell you what is the exception. That the denial works. The denial would work, only one exception. Now, what are the madrak, the proofs for this maxim? The madrak or the proof or the proofs are mostly riwayat, are mostly riwayat. A couple of them, Assalamu alaikum, Dr. Ali. A couple of those riwayat are Sahiha. Sahiha. 
Sahihatul Halabi. The man's last name was Halabi, apparently from the city of Aleppo, Halab. And An Abi Abdullah. An Abi Abdullah. However, he has two number one and number two. The scholars, both of them are Sahiha, but the scholars accept number two more, more than number one. Why? Because in, in his first riwayah, he says, Fi rajulin, in a case of a man, ala nafsihi, he confessed upon himself. If you want to write the translation, I'm reading it in Arabic. Fi rajulin, the, the riwayah says, in a case of a man, is the case of a man, ala nafsihi, he confessed against himself or upon himself, bihaddin, bihaddin, that he did something wrong, they don't mention the crime, they don't, but a crime that deserves what? Punishment. Thumma jahada, after that, he disclaimed, jahad means he took it back. He disclaimed. And al Imam. This is the. In here, in number one, says and al Imam. And al Imam it means what in English? Huh? Before the Imam. Before the Imam. He did this confession before the Imam. But in the second one, no. The Imam was not there. In the court, in front of the judge, not the Imam. They say we accept this more than that. Why? Wait, you say, can you finish the, you said you can have, then he, you said then he this. Yeah. Then, he, he, he says, he, عند الإمام, أنه سرق ثم جحد. He said, I stole something in front of the Imam. Later on, he disclaimed, he took it back. He said, no, 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 I did not steal. But in front of the Imam. The Imam says he will deserve the, the punishment. In the second Sahihah, a man also acknowledged or confessed that he committed zina, fornication, but later on, he took it back. He disclaimed. He changed his mind. Again, the result would be julide, julid, jeld, flogging or lashing. They will punish him. But the scholars, when they study both sahiha, they say we would accept the we will accept the second one where the imam was not there. It is stronger than the one where the Imam is there. Why? They say, we rely on this one. This is stronger in its connotation. The only difference in the first one, it's an act of theft. In the second, it's an act of fornication. And the act does not make any difference. So don't examine the act. Don't tell me because fornication is stronger. No, 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 forget. I'm just telling you. Here it was theft. Here it was fornication. But what makes difference is here he said it in front of the imam. Here in front of the judge in the court. Both, in both of them he's going to be punished. Though he denied later on, he denied. But because we don't, denial does not overwrite confession in the court. But why they say the second one is more stronger? Is it because the of proof? Witness? Huh? How many witnesses? No. no. Has nothing to do with witnesses. Has, has to do with the Imam. But tell me why. Because when we have a norm, a rule, general rule, 
We have a general rule. Okay? It says if someone does this, then this is the result. General rule. But then if we bring something which is abnormal in the middle, qaid, we call it qaid. Qaid, an indication. We bring something abnormal. Then that abnormality is going to change the result. Why? Because we say, listen, under normal circumstances, this is the result. But now the circumstances are not normal. It's abnormal. Then the results are not the same. Because there is qaid here. And the imam in front of the imam is called qaid. Qaid, restriction. Qaid means restriction. Qaid means restriction. Did you get it or not, my friends? If not, I'll repeat it 50 times. Let me say that, say that again in a very simple term. Let's say we have a general rule that if this happens, then this is the reaction. Okay? But then sometimes the same thing happened, but under abnormal situation, special situation. Not under normal circumstances. Then the result sometimes would change, would not be the same. Why? Because we said this is the result if the circumstances are normal. But if something comes inside and interrupts like qaid or restriction, it might, it might affect the result. Do you mean like the introduction of saying or oh, before the imam would, wouldn't be considered or oh, maybe it's not something as uh, is not uh, uh, trustworthy? No, 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 no. Both are trustworthy. This case and that case. Because sahiha, it's sahiha. So both of them are authentic, trustworthy. But when you bring the imam, they say the wujud of the imam, the exist, the presence of the imam in this case, will develop restriction, qaid. This is something not normal. So maybe because of the imam being the imam, then they have to do that. The punishment. Because he said it in front of the Imam. An Imam has extraordinary authority, so he will say, punish him. But in the second case, the Imam was not there. This is muqayyad. This case is muqayyad. This case is mutlaq. This case is restricted. This case is unrestricted. So we would accept the one which is unrestricted. We will accept it more. Because this is an exception, and the exception does not conform with the norm. Is it that it is an exception, or it could be perceived as an exception? It could be perceived as an exception. So it might, then the result might be a special result. Because the imam was there, so the imam said, and the imam is decisive, and the imam overrides, the imam has jurisdiction, so maybe he used his jurisdiction to determine the result. Whereas in this, this is a normal case, normal case in the court, okay? So we depend more on the normal cases, not the abnormal ones. Ali, are you with me? Did you get it or not? Ali, someone, someone confesses Fornication. They take him to the court. There are no witnesses, no witnesses. But he says to the judge, listen, yes, I did this, or, or theft, okay? And he was not under pressure. He was not mentally disturbed, okay? Nobody was threatening him. Nobody was blackmailing him. The judge was not frightening judge. Everything normal. So he said it with health with his full mental capacity. 
If one hour after that he denies, he says, Oh, judge, your honor, I take it back. I was wrong. Would the judge listen to him or not? So this maxim says no. No, it says no. Because we are not playing here. Every time someone says something, <laughs> and then the, he changes his mind, we can't do this. Except in one case. I will say the one case later on. But let's read the normal and then the exceptions. So, Maulana, if there was no second uh, rewire? Second Still we would accept it. Still. Imagine there were no second, only the sahiha, that he said it in front of the imam. Still, still, this is madrak, this is a proof. But this one is stronger. We depend on this one more than that one. Because this one, as Omid mentioned, there is a possibility because of the imam can use his jurisdiction, maybe he altered, maybe he would alter the verdict or the hook. Or to over Overrides, yeah, 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 yeah. Overrides because the imam is there. The, the imam is free, he can change, he can change the ruling. Imam knows better, so he says because of this circumstance. But in this one, this is a normal case. A normal case produces normal result, normal verdict. So we would accept this more. Though this one is also accepted, but this is more acceptable than that. So, so the verdict can be um, with the imam in the second part different with the judge. Um, both of them, Ali. Both of them. Both of them there is confession. And in both cases there is denial later. Okay. later. But the difference. In the first case the imam was there. He confessed in front of the imam. In the second case he, con uh, he confessed in the court in front of the judge. And we see imam that we're talking about. Ma'asum. Yeah, yeah. No, no, not for 12 Imam. Let, imam al Baqir, Imam al Sadiq, Imam al Rida. Any, any one of the Imams. We say both of them are accepted, but this is stronger. Why? Because maybe the presence of the Imam in that session will affect, will have an effect. Assalamu alaikum. Okay? On the result, on the verdict, oh. maybe huh, the imam has a special juris, uh, jurisdictions. The imam can sentence someone, though he doesn't use it, but he has the power. The prophet has a priority over us. The same thing with the imam. So he can tell him you're not guilty? Or, or he will make the sentence harsher, let's say. Or make it harsher. harsher. Okay, either this or that. Either he would release him, <laughs> tell him go. Or he would put him in, in jail more, for instance. So because the imam understands the context more, maybe? Not the, uh, imam is not a normal judge. Right. Imam has abnormal authority. Okay. He has an authority over us. The imam has an authority. So he can alter. He can either dismiss or he can make it harsher. While normal judge has to play by the rules. Well, my question is, I guess, because the imam maybe understands the circumstances. Yes, yes. Imam is supported by ilmul ghayb. Though, though, listen to this carefully. Though they, they, they don't use it in the court system. Even the imams, when they are judges, they have to bring witnesses. Right. They don't bring... Uh, they don't use their ilm al ghayb. Because it gets confusing. Of course, because they want to, 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 to set the norm for the, for the community, for the people after them. Right. So the, even the imams, they will play by the rules. But however, they have jurisdiction, special jurisdiction to alter. So here... This one, this one gives us hukum kulli, hukmun kulli, the second case. Hukmun, hukmun kulli. What does it mean? General, general ruling. While this one could be, it could be what? 
exactly. Specific ruling. Specific. S specific ruling. Okay? Because the Imam was there. So maybe the ruling is a special, specific, produced by an Imam. While this one, no. It's a judge and the ruling is normal, typical, generic ruling, generic. This is not generic. This could be not generic. It could be also generic. But because of the Imam there, we have to be careful. We have to put this possibility that the ruling was a special. There is a possibility. Doesn't mean that it has to be 100%. But there is a possibility, probability. And beside the Sahih, there is Muwathaqa also. Muwathaqa. Muwathaqa to Sakuni. What is Muwathaqa? What's the difference between them? Hmm? What is Sahih? I repeat this every time. Huh? Ahsant. It is non Shia. It is trustworthy, but non Shia. So Muwathaqa, يعني in the chain of narrators, one of them. One of them could be non-Shia, but he's honest, trustworthy. Sorry, the, the Imam ruling is the specific ruling? The other one general ruling? It could be, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So the Imam's ruling, it could be because of the presence of the Imam in the case, it could be a special one, a specific one. Whereas that one, it was a normal court. Generic, normal. Okay? Because the Imam can use his jurisdiction to set someone free. God has given. Even the Prophet. One day, they brought the three. They were sentenced to death. The Prophet, he confirmed the sentence for two. And he set the third one free. Go. Because there is a reason. Because there was a reason. Not just arbitrarily. There was a reason. They said, Ya Rasulullah, why? He said, Jibreel came upon me. And he said, إِنَّهُ لَكَرِيمٌ إِنَّ هَذَا الرَّجُلْ كَرِيمٌ He's generous. Yes, he's guilty. But he helps so many people. He's generous. Because and, in the future, he's going to do something. Yeah, and God loves this quality. So the Prophet, so the man said to him, and the man was non-Muslim. He said to him, Ya Muhammad, why do you set me through? You killed those two. He said, because Jibreel. He said, Subhanallah, you don't know me. You don't know, you don't know anything about me. This means that you are the messenger of God. أنا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله. He accepted Islam. Okay. موثقة السكوني موثقة موثقة is not صحيحة. موثقة السكوني. Okay. This man from Imam al-Sadiq عليه السلام عن أمير المؤمنين. This man. عن أمير المؤمنين it ends with Imam Ali إذا أقر الرجل بالولد ساعة لم ينفع عنه أبدا إذا إذا أقر I'll translate الرجل بالولد ساعة لم ينفع عنه أبدا okay prepare yourself for the translation the translation says, once, Ida means once, a man confesses about a boy. What is about the boy? What does it mean? That this boy from this lady is my boy. She was pregnant because of me, so he's my bi biological son. Once he once he, sa'atan means for a, for a second, not 60 minutes, huh? Sa'a in the Quran and the hadith does not mean 60. Today in Arabic they say sa'a, yak sa'at, 60 minutes. But in the past it could be two minutes, a period of time. So once he confesses and accepts and acknowledges that this is my biological son for one minute, two minutes, Lam yunfa, that son is not going to be negated forever, abada. So if later on he will say, no, 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 hey, I was, you know, whatever. 
I was not feeling well. I didn't have coffee today, and this is not my son. Would they accept that from him? Huh? No. They wouldn't. Khalas, he said it. He said it, and he was mentally okay, psychologically okay. He was not disturbed, okay? He was with his full mental capacity, standing. He was relaxed, and he said, this is my son. Because I had a relationship with his mother. So the following day, if he comes, they would not accept. If he wants to deny, denial, this is the ruling. The ruling, denial, does not override confession in the court system. So you have to use it when you go to the court. When you go to the court. They have that. That's actually the law. You have, they have it in America? Yeah, yeah. Subhanallah. They have it. Okay? A lot of the stuff you're saying, have, yeah. it's the same as the law. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> So now, said, I'm sorry, yeah, that son will not be, will not be n negated. Yunfa, yunfa mean, it comes from what? From nafi. Nafi. We have ithbat and we have nafi. Nafi, nafi means negation. Negation. He cannot negate that or deny that later on. Khalas, this is your son. You can't change your mind tomorrow and tell me, no, I didn't. Speak the truth. Now, there is one case which is an exception to this. That denial works. And denial overrides confession in one case. Taqiyya? Hmm? Taqiyya? No, listen, Ali. Taqiyya, we said, we said iqrar, confession, this confession. Without coercion, without taqiyya, true statement, to the best of his knowledge, he's under no pressure. But if, if something wrong with the confession, we don't accept it. In the first place, we don't accept it. Maybe it's a confession about something that he thought he was guilty and then... No, no, no. He knows. He knows very well. The case was explained to him in the court thoroughly which left no doubt, so the confession was 100% accurate. If the, if the confession is not accurate, it's like the story of that lady who came to the Prophet three times or four times. Each time says, Ya Rasulullah, Zanait, I did this, Zina. The Prophet says, go home. The second time, maybe she's something wrong with her, maybe she's not feeling well. Four times she came, four times, four times. So if there is room for suspicion that this guy, you know, he, he drank something, he's not feeling well. I see this when, when I do counseling, when I'm divorce, I see this. People today, he says something, to, tomorrow he denies. Why? Because either he was not feeling well, she was not. But the confession, they have to study the confession. If the confession is perfect, then there is no denial after that, except one case. So, so in the Even if the conf confession is, the judge believes it was right, it was right, perfect. But tomorrow, again, the person comes and he says, I'm sorry, I take it back. If you confess to rescue your child or parent or something, or brother or sister. Rescue? Yeah, you... Rescue for, for... Let's say what do you mean someone, they mm. say, okay, I killed you, take me. No, 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 no. And later, later he takes him back. Uh, but the person, is there any... This is not no. even considered, this one is not con considered a proper confession. The judge would not accept that. Because the judge in this case, it's not as simple as that. He comes and he says, hey, I killed, and they tell him, yalla, go slaughter him. No. The judge has to ask him how, when, how did you kill? So he will find out. He will find out that he's not the one. The one was someone else. It's not. What did you say? Oh, no. Does it deal with uh, somebody who's meant... No, no. It, it has to do with the type of the crime. Not the perpetrator. The type of the crime. 
they will leave some room what what do what they say here when it goes to another court court of appeal, court of appeal. For, for an appeal they leave room for an appeal so if he comes following day the second session he says I didn't do this then that denial overrides the confession it has it, it's a it, the punishment is death but what what type of crime no I'm saying I thought the crime is death no no it's not death the crime believe it or not Islam consider it even more damaging than than murder sure no 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 oh it's uh Exactly. Relationship of a person who is married with two people who are married. Zina al muhsan. Al zina al muhsan. Al muhsan. What does muhsan mean? What does muhsan mean? What's the meaning of muhsan? Protected. Protected because you. You have a wife, she has a husband, but despite that, and what is the sentence of that? Death. Hmm? Death. If it is proven. Death. If it is proven that. Oh, it's stone. Where is it in the Quran? Where is it in the Quran? Tell me which chapter. It's in a chapter which is not found in the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought it is. No? Zina. This one is not in the Quran. Oh, that one. The zina. Oh. Someone who's single, either male single or female single, or both are single. When both are single, then one hundred mm. lashes. lashes. One hundred. They whip him or whip them, 100 in Surah An-Nur. But this one, it's a hadith. It's not, it's not a verse in the Quran. Muhsan, you said, is, is when they're Muhsan, too married. You, exactly, exactly. They have wife. They have access to their wife. Not just single, huh? Not just single. Muhsan means sometimes he's married, but his wife is somewhere else. Or he has a problem with his wife. You know, they, 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 they don't have a relationship. Okay? Muhsan, when he has a free access to his wife, nothing wrong between them, good relationship. But then he goes with someone who is married. Or she goes with someone who is married. She's married and she goes with someone else. In that case, they can come and say, no. We take it back. And the case is dropped. Who, who can come back? The, 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 guilty the, the guilty, the perpetrator, the one who claimed that I committed this. It's, you may, you may say it's dropped, I mean the confession is dropped, but they can still present other evidence to prove. What are the evi other evidence? Tell me. Um, video recording or No, no, no. Listen, listen. Video technology does not work in this. It has to be live witnessing, not picture, not camera, live witnessing. And it's impossible. This is impossible. Islam made it so impossible that this case is not proven. Zina is not proven. Therefore, murder, how many witnesses we have? Two. In Zina, how many we need? Four. Double the number. And this, it's impossible to be proven. Impossible for the zina. It's yeah. Like one of the people says, I take it back, but the other one does not take it back. There's a drop for both. No. Just the one, okay. If one of them says, and he was involved with the other person, you mean? Yeah. Yes. Then it means it didn't happen. So but one says yes, one says no. After yeah. They both, yeah. Because this act requires two people. It cannot be done solo. Okay, yeah. Zina cannot. 
the wine, uh, these things can be done solo, but, but zina requires two parties. So if one of them says, I didn't do it, then the other one, it means automatically it's going to be dropped from the other one. Okay, yasqutu rajm that's it. Yasqutu rajm rajm which was supposed to be rajm the punishment rajm killing by stoning is going to be dismissed it's going to be dismissed or cancelled or annulled and there is ijma there is ijma and there is a proof of the hadith of Imam al-Sadiq. Man aqarra ala nafsihi bihaddin aqamtahu alayh. Imam is telling a judge that if someone comes to the court and he confesses about a crime, then you have to aqamta al-had. You have to exercise or execute the punishment illa al rajim Accept this case for the zina al-muhsan. فَإِنَّهُ إِذَا أَقَرَّ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ If the guilty person confesses first and then he denies. ثُمَّ جَحَدَ Jahad means juhud. Inkar. Negates. He negates. He takes it back. Okay? لَمْ يُرْجَمْ He's not going to be punished. There is no rajm. On that person. Yes, yes. Yeah. Now, let me tell you just before I answer you. Iwazi, just before I answer. Didn't we study some time ago that? Someone who's honest, if he claims that I did this, I took your money, he was Amin, honest, and then your money is lost. Do we have to accept his allegation or not? We have to accept because he's an honest. Now imagine a person comes who's honest. We know him, he's honest, he didn't lie. But he did a crime. Shaitan deceived him. And he did confession. And then he denied. Then he denied. Shouldn't we accept his denial because he's an honest? You mean accept his confession? Uh, yes. Uh, accept his uh, confession, exactly. Accept his confession. Meaning when he comes, no, 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 accept the denial because the denial came after. So he said, I didn't do it. First confession, he said, I did it. Denial, he said, I didn't do it. Shouldn't we accept him? He's Amin. Oh, are you asking outside of Zina Mohsen? Yes, outside. outside. Oh, this, oh, is, this is, forget okay, about so that. Okay. This is, let's say, drinking, theft, or Zina, which is, he's single. Let's say he's single. Not muhsan, غير muhsan, is not muhsan, which requires lashing. He came yesterday, he confessed. Tomorrow he's, he's saying, and he's honest. Shouldn't we use that maxim of honesty? But we had something that we studied in courses before in Usul where it's the first in your initial, uh, initial supposition that is more powerful than the second. You mean it's tashab? No, not just this hub, not, hmm. not continuity, but it was the, I remember we studied in the book where it said it's the, it's the initial, your first reaction. Really. Exactly. He is an honest person. Therefore, if he in the beginning, he would deny, we will accept it from him. But he confessed. We accepted from him the first time. But the second time when he's denying, we cannot accept because, because there is confession before it. If there was no confession before it, we accept his speech. We accept his testimony. 
but because unfortunately he has another testimony before, which is confession, and that one cannot be dropped. Though he's honest, but it cannot be dropped because we take that one first, that one comes first, because that one preceded the denial. They say in, in fiqhi language, they say, سَبَقَهُ iqrar. Iqrar confession preceded it. Therefore, you cannot do anything about it. Yeah. From the logic perspective, in the first place, you confessed as an honest person. Ahsan. Now you are. You are the then, person. when he confessed, he realized, well, the punishment is too much. He can't take it. <laughs> so he comes and he says, Sir, I changed my mind. <laughs> yeah. Now, Another maxim that we will study it later on, not now, it says, إقرار العقلاء على أنفسهم جائز. We will study it later on. إقرار العقلاء. The confession of the rational people. إقرار. إقرار العقلاء على Anfusihim ja'izun. The confession, I'll translate that. The confession, iqrar, of the rational people, not the crazy ones. Not the one who's mentally disturbed or he has a problem. Okay? Upon themselves is accepted. Ja'izun. We take your confession because you are aqil. You said, I took money from him. I, I took a loan. And then tomorrow you tell me, no, I didn't take a loan. You come today, you say, I wasn't driving this car when we had an accident. Tomorrow you come and you tell me, no, I wasn't in the car. My son, my neighbor was in the car. You said it. And you are aqil. Why do we have these maxims, my friend? What if we don't have these maxims? What will happen? Because the work of the judiciary system is going to be impossible. Impossible. Because you can't find a witness in every case. Nowadays, with cameras, with these, with monitoring, with, you know, DNA, with, you know. But in the past, no DNA, no, you know, a, a woman, she's pregnant. Who is the father? We don't know. She can go on a claim, the father is Fulan. Whereas that. Muawiyah, five people said he's our son. Muawiyah, five people. Then Abu Sufyan said, I will, you know, he donated his honor and he accepted Muawiyah. Otherwise, five people said this is our son. So it will make life difficult. And also another person, Muawiyah also sponsored him. He said, I am his father. I confess many Ibn Ziyad, oh, Ziyad ibn Abi, Ziyad, Ziyad ibn who? Abi, the son of his, his father. Because they didn't know who was the father. They called him the son of his Abi, his father. Many people, when he came, many people said, we were with this lady. Then Abu Sufyan sponsored him. He said, yes, I was with his mother and he's my son. But they did not call him Ziyad ibn Abu Sufyan. They left this name. And his son, his son, Ibn Ziyad, the one who murdered Imam Hussein, the governor of Bani Umayyah in Kufa, who sent the troops, Umar ibn Sa'ad. Umar ibn Sa'ad was the one who killed by the order of Ibn Ziyad, by the order of Yazid. So he's the son of this man. Imagine his father, they called him the son of his father because they didn't know who was the biological father.